Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out my own private Idaho. Now I'm really excited to watch this movie for some reason. I don't know anything about it but Keanu Reeves is in this movie and he's very young and so that is why I am excited to watch it. I'm also still a little sick. I'm getting over a sickness which I've had for almost a week now and so just I'm sorry if my voice or nose sounds very nasally or if I cough a little bit during this reaction. I have a just a small cold still. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn the light and decide what color it should be. Boop! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so for the lighting today, I think I'm going to be going green because what else is in Idaho besides like grass? You know what I mean? Like I think of Idaho and I think of like flat grasslands. I've never been to Idaho. I never studied Idaho. I don't even know what's in Idaho, but that's what I picture when I think of Idaho. So that's why I'm going this color for the lighting today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much for checking out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this thing. I'm really, really excited for it. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to my own private Idaho. Ah, narcolepsy. Interesting. Uh, I should have gone yellow because this is very dead. The bag was not having it. It was too tired of standing up. Wow, it just feels forever. There's not another road anywhere that looks like this road. I mean exactly like this road. Oh, he's talking to himself. Like someone's face. Like a fucked up face. This is cool. You don't want to be stuck outside in an Idaho rainstorm. Uh, is he okay? Dude, I love the music. Oh my god, that is pink jump scare. So was he dreaming about being on that road then? Dude, River Phoenix and Keanu Reeves, let's go! He's dreaming about salmon. He is one of those salmon. Uh, Seattle is not Idaho, buddy. Is something happening that I think is happening right now? That's a good representation. <laughs> It was a paid thing. But the guy blowing gave him the money. Mm, we don't get along too well. Or else he wouldn't have gone out and drowned himself at Boxcar Canyon. Oh, jeez. So I guess he's like almost using that old guy. And the old guy can do things to him for money, basically. Yeah, that looks like that woman. Dude, I didn't realize this movie was gonna be so trippy, you know what I mean? I keep slipping in and out of dream states. I am so lucky. I was born on April 4th, 1944. Congratulations, man. It's... Immaculate. Okay, that was really not cool. <laughs> This guy's cake cleaning. Right now I'm thinking that this guy is a sex worker. Yeah, it must be his kink. This is so odd. I'm all done. Dude, this guy cannot be real. Look at his hair, the way he dresses, the way he speaks, his kink. Daddy. Oh god. I guess you gotta make a living some way, right? Oh. Uh. Hey. 
<laughs> what up? Oh my god, it's Keanu Reeves. Let's go. We'll be right back. There are cokes in the refrigerator. Help yourselves. Are they gonna be love? Is he gonna be lovers with Keanu Reeves? Because that would be epic. I love just like the harsh colors of all the interiors like look at the reds in this room there were the reds in the last room i love that i love the sound effects what's happening what's happening oh he's falling asleep he's having a what a narcoleptic attack well, where are we gonna take him? We can't just leave him here. Keep him as a friend. In a town, I'll be waiting for you. You'll be safer here in this comfy neighborhood than in the city. Aww. Why not just keep him in your bed or something? My dad doesn't know that I'm just a kid. He thinks I'm a threat. Oh man. I guess I kind of understand why it's my own private Idaho because the Idaho is being imagined by this guy in his head. Dude, this slow motion of the guy walking through the adult magazine aisle. What? I love that they're moving though. Professional attitude. Of course, if the guy can pay me, then hell yeah. Here I am for. Hell yeah! <laughs> Isn't that right, Mike? What? This is so interesting. Actually, Mike is right. I am going to inherit money. A lot of money. This is... I love this movie. It's so creative. You want to be my friend? No. No, thanks. Of course his name's Haas. I don't know why. It's just, I should have expected that. Get in the car. No. This guy's a pervert, I can tell. Yeah, me too. The Dutch angle. Oh, and then there's like these flashbacks which were on like rolling film almost, which are really cool. What, you think I sell your body while you're asleep? Yeah, that'd be disturbing. Bob coming up here to town. Is that true? You hear anything about that? Bob. Bob. Dude, Bob. He was fucking in love with me. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's the thing. He taught me better than school, dude. I love Bob more than my father. Dude, I love Bob now. My friend. Oh, you like? Hey, you like that? Oh, huh? you like that? I don't like your pants, though. I'm mean, Calvin's. What a dickhead. Yeah, agreed. Not what I'm eating, don't go to my face. It's a smoking section. Yeah, but still. I went to his hotel with them. I guess you're just gonna stop. She's going sorry for herself for what's happening. So many interesting stories about these boys and their prostitution. You basically raped me. You put a fucking wine bottle up my butt. Oh, God. Oh, God. And we'll just, we'll cancel it, right? So we go down to the street to get the money back, and Scott's like long gone. No, no. And how my friend's gone and how he's gonna fucking kill me and all this shit and beat me up. So I had to go upstairs and do the date anyway. And you'd lost your money. That was that was my first date and I, I never did another one until like, you know, a year later. But you did do another one. It's actually a really interesting angle. You never hear about boys doing prostitution. So this is, yeah, extremely interesting. Who, you know, the fat one. Pinch it! He owes you money? And more than that, Dude, get out of my real father. This chain oh, what? Real father? We have. Jesus. Things we've seen. Dude, the things they've seen. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm gonna understand this movie the first watch. Where's Bob crashed down his room? Like right now, it seems like all of these characters are in some form prostitutes or rebellious. Will, I think his name is, also has narcolepsy. Oh, fuck. Are they doing cocaine on his foot? In black leather. Isn't that right, Bob? 
There's no reason. Dude, you're sorting all this coke. You're gonna get so high, you're gonna explode. I fell asleep! Let it be drop! You think I could keep the peace of my house? So much yelling. This hotel is full of thieves. Junkies! You are the thief. Yeah, you're also a thief and junkie, probably. <laughs> Well, virtuous oh, enough. Too, I swore a little. I never gambled more than seven times a week. Never gambled more than seven times a week. Stealing is my vocation, Scott. It's not a sin for a man hey, psst. to labor his vocation. Very early tomorrow morning. So stealing is my calling, so I am allowed to steal. That is going to be my argument if I ever get arrested for stealing. The scheme is special since Gary thought it up. Come on, Mike. There is a better way to make a buck. <coughs> oh, Mike, not Will. But I think it was Will. Oh, oh my sweetheart. Come and rob with us tomorrow. Oh, I was going to anyway. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was I was joking the entire time. Let's see. How far away is this? One week away, Bob. Oh, one week away from being rich. Top 10 most unexpected things. That kiss. That felt like an actual kiss. It will impress them more when such a fuck up like me turns good. All my bad behavior I will throw away to pay a debt. Interesting. Which when everybody expects it the least. <laughs> oh, interesting. It will all be just one. Endless party, <laughs> won't it? Yeah, Keanu, it will. Give me a job. That's so good to me. I wonder how related to Henry the Fourth this movie is. I saw that it was briefly like related in some way to Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth, but I'm not sure how much. <laughs> all right, all right. I love their pink outfits. There's five of them. Five. Shouldn't they be robbing us? <laughs> Good point. Right behind us. What are they pretending to be prayers or something? <laughs> Up against the wall, you silly scumbag. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, bye bye. set the box down. That's right. Did they even rob them? Exactly. Let's see what we have. They did, okay. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Are they such chickens? They speak so weirdly, you know? <laughs> They're actually hitting them. Has anyone seen my son? No, sorry. Dude, they are both so cool, man. What I'm getting at, Mike, is that we're still alive. That's what he's getting at. <laughs> they could drop a big old bomb in this city, you know what we would do? Still be alive. Not all cowards! What's up, Bob? <laughs> oh, Bob, hey, I didn't see you over there. Not a coward? Answer that. And that goes double. You're calling me a coward, you fat duck? Oh, my God. Grain for. I have peppered two of them. Yeah? Two punks. Yeah, did you? Four came in close. You said there were two now. Four. I said there were four, Scott. Come on, Scott. There were four. And I whipped out the blade and took all seven as a target. Like all seven? Leave him alone. We shall have more soon. As I was Some great camera work. Nine in the alleyway that I told you about. It's nine. in the alleyway. So he's going to say these 500 people. It was so dark, Scotty, that you could not see your hand. In front of your face. So dark that you couldn't see your head. <laughs> Dude, I love Scotty, man. I also love Bob's stories. Oh, for breath to utter what lies in the tailor's yard stick, you. He speaks like he's in a Shakespeare's play, dude. You carried yourself away at the slightest noise. <laughs> <laughs> so true. What new trick do you have for us now, Bob? Oh. You think I would turn on you, Scotty? Why not? <laughs> Good lord, lads. Glad you have the money. He just called himself a lion, did he? He's like more of a blobfish. If we're looking for a fat man, why don't we just get one under the bridge? Oh, oh! He's just gonna take a random person. There he goes! In the door! Dude, these cops can't find everyone. A large fat man. Fat as butter. Well, he's not here. Oh my god. If I see him... The reveal. Dinner time. 
tomorrow to answer against any such charges. The head slaps. He'd like to see you as soon as possible. Fuck you. That was the most polite, oh, that was the most polite way to say that ever. I thought by my soul, he has more worthy interest to my estate than you could hold a candle to. Oh no, is he not gonna get the will? And has an ambitious five-year plan for the force that even I would like to support. Oh no. A hundred thousand deaths before that happens. That is so dramatic. The heart side effect? Is everything okay? Where should we go? They didn't even touch their food. I'm thinking you should be someplace in, uh... What is that, Idaho? Oh! Idaho! Shut up, man! What are you going to laugh at the natives, that is horrible. Why would people do that? I've been on this road before. Yeah, in your dream, man. I could say, have a nice day or something. See what I mean, Scott? It'd be so surreal to be there in real life. When I left home, the maid asked me where I was off to. I said, wherever, whatever, have a nice day. Fair enough. And I would have been a well-adjusted person. <laughs> you don't want to be a well-adjusted person. Dad and a dog and shit like that. Normal. Normal. So you didn't have a normal dog? <laughs> My dog was green and glowing. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, you know, well-adjusted. <laughs> What's a normal dad? Yeah, what does a normal dad mean? I don't feel like I can be close to you. I love his performance, dude. What do I mean to you? What do you mean to me? Everything. Mike, you're my best friend. Yeah! We can be friends. The sound effects are incredible as well. I only have sex with a guy for money. Yeah. And two guys can't love each other. Yeah. Why not? I could love someone even if I, you know, wasn't paid for it. Oh man. He's just pouring his heart out in a way. Mike. I really want to kiss you, man. Oh my god, do it. I love you, then. Oh. Oh, what? You know that. I want to give him a hug. I didn't want that to end. I didn't want that to end. River Phoenix's performance as Mike, the subtleties in his performance, yet there's so much emotion and he feels so like innocent. Like at that moment, he was just so innocent and open. Oh God, it was so beautiful, dude. Looks like this is the end. <laughs> Where's he running to? Oh, it's running now. That's brilliant. This looks like that house from the Rolling Film segment. Look, Mike, sandwiches. <laughs> Someone, please, that has to be a beam. Look, Mike, sandwiches. That's amazing. I used to go out to that place on the weekends to see him. You were about one year old at the time, I think. Aw, little Mike. Dude, there's so many sound effects in this movie that really bring up the intensity or the dramatics of the scene in hand. I don't want to hear any of your shit! Jack! Jack! Don't, don't talk to me like that! Oh my god, what the heck are you doing, man? He's alright, this happens every time we get together. He doesn't look alright, man. That is. Sorry. That's terrifying. That is also terrifying. You are terrifying. I know the truth about my mother. I mean the real truth. What's the real truth? And what's it? Why is there a fake truth and a real truth? It's a real scumbag. That your mother loved him. She loved him. Oh wow, these flashbacks. But he didn't want to marry her. He didn't love her. Wow. Now she had a gun. She used to have this gun with her. Oh no, oh no. During a movie, she takes this gun, sticks it in his mouth, and blows his brains out. Oh my days. That guy is your real father. What? Richard, you're my dad. I know that. 
He just told you something different. Jeez, you're gonna have to clean that up in the morning, buddy. I'm gonna look her up, man. <laughs> yeah, look her up, look her up. What the heck, man? River Phoenix's performance is actually legendary in this movie. Give us a record, Hunt. Oh, yeah. What's, What's his name? doing here? I don't know. His name Hans. 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 He's back. Hans is back. Are you going to Europe? Let's go with you. Four more seven. Wow. Mike? He was so subtle with it. See you later, floor seven. And a large coke. Is that correct now, Mike? Yeah. 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 Why is this accent always so funny? I don't, I, I don't know. No slander towards the accent. It's always so funny in movies. You want to see it? The way he like strokes them at the same time. I love this guy, man. Come on. Okay. Sinking of power. I love the lamp that he's still holding it. Ah, oh, the music stopped. How did you boys get so far to Idaho? I only left you. Keanu Reeves turned off the music, right? Because the guy was gonna fall asleep. Mike. That is a uh, business for sure. I love these still, these still shots. Everyone, they must have, they were playing like Twister and the director's like, pause! When they're all like tied up, just takes a snapshot of them, continues on. I don't know it's a lot more mountains than I thought it was going to have, to be honest with you. Well, I'm still going to give you a ticket. What's your name? Hans, you gotta stop rubbing your bike like that. <laughs> You're going to <fly>. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe this movie's going to Rome. Top 10 most unexpected places that this movie was gonna go. Dude, those two basically have the same jacket. He's like, dude, how did I get here? Uh, the Italian countryside, man. How do you do? I. Uh Good. Top 10 conversations of all time. An American woman? Yeah. Oh, she's not gonna be here, is she? She left a long time ago. What? Back to America. A long time ago? Nah, this is conflicting information now. This is very good. <laughs> Dude, she's so infatu infatuated by Keanu Reeves and I cannot blame her, young Keanu Reeves. Oh my god. <laughs> so that woman that we're seeing in the flashbacks, is that the mom? <laughs> He's so small, man. Thanks for coming over this way though, man. I'm ready to leave whatever you want. <laughs> Ken Reeves is like, actually, I was gonna stay forever. Ah, Keanu. I love the way that that's shown that they had like sex and stuff. I've never seen a movie do that before. Where it's like images of the positions and stuff that they're in, and then it just cuts right back to the story. I don't know. It's just, it's just cool. It's, good on day. it's like it's not really the important part of the story. It's just something that happens. Uh, guys, you're extremely third wheeling Mike right now. He blew smoke at them, man. <laughs> I'd like knock on the roof. Bro, turn it down. <laughs> Moan quieter.
There are these interesting lines at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like looking like hairs or cracks or something like that in frame. Wondering what they are. Oh man. And oh, and Mike likes Keanu Reeves. You know, maybe I'll run into you down the road. No, don't leave him. There's some cash that you share from the bike. I fell in love, Mike. I'm sorry. Bro, you've been here, what, three days and just had sex with her? That If that's love, I'm sure so many people have fell in love. <laughs> don't leave! And don't leave the dog! Now there's a red light creeping into frame. Mm-hmm. He doesn't understand anything, so he's not going to get paid. Oh no. It just leaves. He just dips. We are in the Portland airport. How the heck did you get here? We're back in Portland, baby. Back in this Chinese diner. So how's your wife? So how's your wife? Why are you asking these questions? Oh, you better turn it off. This is like... Uncomfortable to watch at times as well. Oh my god, Keanu. Oh my god, Keanu. That was your friend. Core fun, man. All we need to do is put a ride together to oh. the bush, and we're in business. He's gonna ask. Well, then you can get us a ride to see Goss. Do it. If it isn't Scott a favor. Yeah, it is Scott. Dressed in a 3T suit. He's got in the inheritance and turned around, right? Like what he said. And he's with the girl too. Dude, he just forgot completely about Mike. Are you serious? Oh, Han's there as well. God save you! God save you, my sweet boy. Scotty, my own true friend. You won't even turn around. It's me! Bob! Oh, he's not turning around. I don't know you, old man. Please leave me alone. Oh my god, Keanu Reeves. I have to turn away. Now that I have, and until I change back, don't come near me. Oh my god, that was a threat. He'll go Neo on you. God! What's happening? Is he dead? You saw God and died. God said, You saw me, mortal, I will smite you, and smited him to death. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold. Be not deceived. Okay, that's a way better funeral, man. Shall of the flesh reap corruption. <laughs> it's a drunken harmony. <laughs> what are they fighting over? Who can scream Bob the loudest? <laughs> and they're going from us to be utter destruction. He's looking over at Scotty like, come join us. Or it's like a retaliation sort of thing. The fish again. And we're back in Idaho. I've been tasting roads my whole life. Whenever I go to a road, I lick it. Dude, that shot, I don't that shot was incredible. They're robbing him. Aw, oh, at least this guy's nice.
Have a nice day, everyone. I don't understand. I don't understand. But I love. I love, but I don't understand. That's how I feel right now. What? I'm sorry. I need someone to explain this to me. And that was my reaction to my own private Idaho, the 1991 drama romance. That's how Google is labeling this movie. But honestly, like, I don't know how I would label this movie. I was thinking about it. Like, how would I describe my own private Idaho to someone who has never watched it before? That was a question that I kind of brought to myself while watching the movie. And I couldn't find an answer. Anyways, this movie was starring River Phoenix, who was exceptional. He was amazing in this movie. Keanu Reeves, who was also amazing in this movie. Then William Retchert, Rodney Harvey, Chiara Caselli, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name, and Michael Parker. Before we get into this review though, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to hit that beautiful big red subscribe button and like the video. It does help out the channel a lot and it's free. Anyways, Back to the video. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do a really long review for this movie either. I'm really sorry about that. It's just that I am still feeling a little bit sick, and so I, I think the longevity of a review would just keep like make my voice worse because it's my throat that's hurting too much right now. But yeah, I loved this movie, but I can't really piece together exactly why I love this movie. The story of this movie as a whole kind of caught me off guard at the start because it's not what I was expecting, but it, I don't know, it drew me in, it was captivating, it was so full of something, yet it was so devoid of stuff. Like this movie felt like this guy's Mike, Mike's quest to find someone that he could get attached to and someone that he could care about who had love him back just as equally as he loved, for example, Scott. That campfire scene was flipping phenomenal and so emotional and River Phoenix's acting going through that campfire scene was incredible. The subtlety of his voice, the quietness, but the amount of tidal waves of emotion coursing out of every word through these little whispers of words. I don't know, it was truly exceptional. I, that's all I have to say about it. It was, it was truly exceptional and heartbreaking, but also like very, I don't know, fulfilling at the same time. You never really hear, especially in 1991, a movie about someone who is gay. Mikey obviously is gay. He's in love with Scott and he's prostituting his body. And I know before I finish that sentence, I know that Scott is also prostituting his body at times in this movie, but Scott is in fact not gay because he said he would never love a man unless that man was paying him. But Mike would love Keanu Reeves. He says that at the campfire scene, he's seen, he's basically like, I would love you, you know, I do love you, I want to kiss you, oh my god, it was heartbreaking, but also very satisfying to hear a character say that, especially, again, in a movie in 1991. But yeah, I don't really know like the plot of this movie, for instance, it kind of just felt like, yeah, again, like Mikey trying to find someone who loved him, who cared about him, and that he could return that care and love to. But there were a bunch of things that kind of confused me about the plot that I was like, does that have to be in there? And if so, why is it in there? For example, Mikey's narcolepsy. I understand, I like, it works in this movie and I don't have a problem with it being in the movie. I just kind of like, why, like, is it just like a way to drive the plot forward, for instance? Is it something else? Is it to show that he's kind of suffering in this very inner way that not too many people know about? I'm not too sure about that. I would definitely need to rewatch this movie. There are also the dreams he has while he's going through those narcoleptic attacks. I know some of them make a lot of sense, like some of them he's imagining his mom, and some of them he's imagining he's on this road and stuff, but there are other ones, like the salmon. I, I don't really understand the salmon ones. I might, my thought process behind the salmon they appear at the start of the movie and they appear at the end of the movie my thought process behind the salmon is basically that like salmon they start at a home right and then they go out into the ocean and then when it's time for them to breed they have to go back down the exact same river they were born in and go to the exact same spot they were born in and that's where they reproduce and lay eggs and then the new batch 
go back out to the ocean. And so my only my thought about the salmon was like this movie is an attempt for River Phoenix's character Mikey to get back to his mother, to get back to this place of birth, or at least the comfort of his childhood, which is kind of reminiscent of what salmon do. Maybe that is the connection, or maybe it's something completely different. I'm not too sure. And then the end of this movie as well was a little bit too complex for my for my understanding. I don't know. It went over my head. It went way over my head. I mean, I don't know. I had this very like empty feeling while watching those final shots as the camera slowly left Mikey and went farther and farther and farther away. And then it just lingered. It just stayed far away. This super wide shot. And it just, I don't know, it just focused on him alone on the road and obviously he gets robbed but then obviously someone comes and picks him up and you know they get him in his car but like they're not going to be someone who's going to love him right there might be someone who's going to try to use him than just another person in this journey like is he ever going to find someone who cares about him and loves him and stuff like that you know his dad doesn't love him his mom's gone scott's gone now too like who does he have he's kind of alone and that shot that final shot just made me think like i feel like he's just going to stay alone maybe the it was supposed to end on this hopeful note like someone does pick him up there is hope that he can find someone who will love him but I don't know to me it just kind of ended in a way where I was like I just think he's destined to never find this love or it's never going to be okay to have this love I don't know it was just so interesting because I felt so empty inside when it ended and I couldn't understand why but anyways I'm not gonna usually I get into the reviews of this movie I'm not gonna do that today because my voice hurts too much and I have other things that I want to talk about so let's talk about those first thing being the sound design the sound design of this movie was super impressive there were so many instances where there was just no music. In fact, almost the entire movie I thought was diegetic sound, sound that the characters could hear. Except there were also a lot of sound effects in this movie. And these sound effects were sound effects where I didn't know if the characters could hear them or not. And that's really interesting to me because in a movie with that, that centers around dreams and stuff like that, like this narcoleptic attack, a character who has narcolepsy, it's interesting to me that to have sound effects that kind of bridge the line between diegetic and non-diegetic, between things that characters can hear and not hear, because it kind of resembles that dream, not dream kind of state. And I don't know, I thought it matched the tone of the movie very well. But it's also interesting, for example, like when they're at the father's house and a train is going by, I couldn't tell if the train was there just to up the climate climax of the scene you know what I mean like up the tension and dr drama of the scene or if there was actually a train in the background because we never saw train tracks we never had there was never like confirmation that they're close to train no one really reacts to the train which would be usual you know if they're used to a train being there but at the same time it's it's a little weird that no one reacts or like nothing shaking it when the train is so loud it must be so close right so it's kind of on this weird line between real and not real which is kind of how Mikey almost lives his life in a way because he was always in this very kind of weird hypnotic state a lot of the time this days between sleep and reality and the sound effects kind of gave me that in inclination as well which was really cool and then of course like the shots in this movie the whole set and just the cinematography for this movie was beautiful every location kind of had this very distinct style the cities were very dirty yet they were very like vibrant for some reason like all the walls were very like big primary color like red or something like boom just all like bright red and this even in like a dingy sort of area there would be a boom bright red wall which i thought was very fascinating and then obviously you go to idaho and that's kind of like all these yellow and browns ruling hill i don't know it was really cool you could kind of see where every location was based on the colors alone and then the camera work was just really intimate it was always like Except for the end, actually, it was usually very intimate and close with our characters. It was always kind of up in Mikey's face or kind of up with Scott. You would always get to see their reactions very close. It felt very personal. And then obviously the final shot, you get ripped away. And boom, you're so far away. Maybe that's why it felt so empty because the whole movie is so close and personal. And then the end, you're just so far apart from Mikey. I don't know. Just interesting stuff to think about, actually. I think that's where I'm going to end my review because my nose has started to snot like crazy and my throat is starting to tickle and hurt a lot. And I feel like my review is also not conducing to anything because every time I speak, it leads to more questions, which maybe I'll answer a few, which then leads to more questions. And so it's not really conducive, but I'm sure a lot of people have answers. Obviously, I'll have editing this video, which is basically rewatching the movie to try and understand things, but I would love to hear your comments. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. River Phoenix in this movie was absolutely fantastic. One of the best performances I've seen of him. Maybe even the best performance I've seen of him. He was he was incredible. And Keanu Reeves, surprisingly great performance as well. Usually I think Keanu Reeves does a pretty good job in his older movies, maybe like just a good job or like an okay job but in this movie that like very Keanu Reeves style acting worked really well for some reason so I thought he did fantastic as well anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction